guys, so uh, Basha came out with their new Beauty Balm, which is a uh, product that replaces their old uh, BB cream, which I absolutely loved. Uh, I could not get enough of this stuff. And their new one, uh, I've not had too much to chance to use it, but I'll definitely do a more comprehensive review. But overall, their new one is definitely more of a foundation style beauty balm, whereas their other beauty balm was more of a skincare type product with a little bit of a tint to it. Uh, their new one is much more pigmented. Uh, I got the shade Venus, uh, so I thought I'd give you guys a little swatch of it, but... Uh, it does contain a little bit of fragrance in it in the uh, form of lavender oil. So if you have very, very sensitive skin, that could be an issue. I don't really notice the scent uh, very much at all, so that is a good thing. Uh, however, if you have sensitive skin, you just might want to be a little bit alerted to that in case you have any issues. But uh, the shade blends in very nicely. It's got an SPF of 30, similar to their old Beauty Balm. Uh, their older Beauty Balm just seemed to have some consistency issues. Uh, once you got past it, though, I really loved it. But a lot of it was, uh, if you didn't store it properly standing up, uh, you would end up getting a little bit of a water. It just did, wasn't mixed very well. So, uh, But if you store it standing up, you probably wouldn't have much issue at all. And then uh, there was, that only came in two shades, I think, which was normal and light. So their new foundation beauty balm comes in four different shades, I believe. So Venice is the one I picked out. So overall, I like the packaging. The pump bottle is very nice. Uh, a little bit goes a long way, which you definitely, if you're only using this for your main source of sunscreen, definitely be careful about that because you want to make sure you have a thorough liberal application to actually get the 30 SPF protection. But uh, overall so far liking it, uh, but not quite as much as their old ones still. But uh, if you liked a little bit more of a pigmentation with their Beauty Balm, uh, this one's going to be a little bit better for you because their other one just seemed to not, it seemed to be more tinted. This one seems to be much more pigmented and more uh, full coverage, more of a satin matte full coverage finish. So uh, and they have included some good beneficial ingredients uh, and then that little bit of lavender oil, which for most people won't be an issue unless you have very, very sensitive skin. So just be aware of that. Uh, but anyway, so overall, those are just some of my quick thoughts on it. I thought I would give you guys some uh, thoughts in case you're thinking about picking it up or if you're thinking about how it compared to their old Beauty Balm, which... I don't know, if I found an old one in the stores, I'd definitely still pick it up because it just works so nicely. But uh, anyway, so those are some quick thoughts on it. I'll definitely do a more comprehensive review once I've gotten a lot more time to use it. So anyway, interested if you guys have picked this up yet or what your Beauty Balm go-to is. So leave a comment and thank you guys so much.